Hey, YouTube viewers, here we go again. Another knife. This one, two sun knives. Um, this knife comes boxed up with a lot of stuff. Here's the oil bag, baby. They just, they pour the knife in there. They pour the oil in there. And I mean, it is drenched with oil. And of course, I have now pre-unboxed this knife and wiped it down so that it's not covered with oil. That's a bad thing. You don't want it absolutely slathered with oil. <sighs> or fingerprints too much. Let me get back to you on this. Okay. What does this look like? Well, this is officially the Tucson TS-29. Okay. They have a TS-31. They have a TS-21. They have different models. This one is the TS-29. And my, my biggest nightmare realized proprietary pivot of which I have no tool for that. I don't know if you could bend the tip of a screwdriver, oh, well, good luck with that, or something to try and operate that. Thank God I didn't need to take this apart when I got it out, because I didn't. It, it, uh, <laughs> it comes open. I'll tell you what, here, here's the problem with this knife, and it's a really nice knife. I love the design of it. I ordered, I waited, I got it. Um, the, uh, it's a frame lock. There you go. There's a lock up like, but really early about 18%. Is this knife looks a little bit like the, um, un, um, numson Chris Reeve, um, numson knife. Okay. And it does, doesn't it? Except... The um Numson has cross hatching that, that is on this part of the knife, not back here. It flows a little bit different. The back here is a different angle cut with this more like a coffin shaped back. Okay. And of course, these, th these thumb studs here are stop, are the stop pins on the um Numson, and they are not here. They have a stop pin here. And of course the blade design is all different. Okay. On the um Numson. But this is like a Tonto-ish. If Chris Reeve came out with this in a Tonto, I guess this would be kind of what would happen. Um, this has bearings. Uh, I think the Chris Reeve ones run on bronze washers not on caged bearings, but this is caged ceramic bearings, which you'd think this would be really smooth. And I'll tell you what, it is really smooth. It's really smooth. It's very nice. Okay. I like the fit and finish of this knife. I really do. Here's the problem I have. And you know, see it, it flips open, but the, here's the problem. There's a little lock stick there too. Here's the problem. I know they're giving you a little area here to put your finger in to flip that, but for some reason, this, and I've complained before when there were thumb studs that weren't big and hefty and they were too small and they looked really odd, but this almost needs a smaller thumb stud so you can get your thumb in here. It's difficult. It's really, really tight to try and get your thumb in there. When it comes out, it comes out all the way. And, you know, it. but you have to be kind of intentional. And, and it's not that it's sticky or anything. It's, it's really good. I mean, this blade is really smooth. I love the design. And you know what's really funny about this? I'm going to move this light a little different. It's really shiny. I got to get some covers or filters or something on it. In any case... Of course, it's a shiny blade anyhow, you know. This not a problem. This big problem. Tucson. 
back here says D2, right? Okay. Stay with me on this because this is in, kind of uh, interesting. Here's, you know, the knife thing I bought. It was like, uh, what, $44, okay? And it shows you the stuff and pictures of the knife, that kind of stuff, okay? So you get that. That's interesting because if you look on DH Gate, I'm flipping over here. Here's another knife. Now, this isn't called the Tucson TS 29. This is called 201511 High End Collection Knife Chris Reeve Titanium Handle Tonto Point. Okay. Look at the difference in the price. This one's $61.62. This one doesn't say Tucson on it, okay? But it's the exact same knife, only what I find interesting is this is a 9CR13 MOV blade on the other one, on the $62 knife. But look at it. It's the exact same It's the exact same knife. It's the exact same knife. Gotta get this out of the way. This is killing my my screen. But you can see, it's the same knife. Doing up a lot of light there. Amazing. Amazing how things float around on DH Gate and AliExpress. Pretty much given up on uh, AliExpress. Uh, they're prohibited from selling lock blade knives. So the knives that you see that should be frame lock knives are photoshopped to look like they're slip joint. And that's how they're surviving over there right now. Most of the sellers are either gone or photoshopping or doing something else. You try and go there and buy a, a Microtech Halo 5 clone automatic and they just show you a little uh, Microtech uh, pivot tool uh, sticking in the picture. They can't even show you the knife. Okay. This has D2 steel and it's really sharp. Uh, nice edge on there. You can see nice satin grind. And I really was impressed with this. This is really a modified Tonto, but it's really, they did a good job here on the blade grind. Uh, and it is really sharp. I shaved part of my arm earlier and I'm going, yeah. Yeah. Good working edge. Snail trail? Maybe. Right there. I don't know. Probably knocked it together with another knife today when I was messing around. Um, yeah, frame lock. This, and, and I, you know, did you, you heard that, right? Lock stick. <sighs> yeah, I'll have to get graphite pencil out and put it on the back of the blade there. So, you know, it, it'll lock stick if you really flick it hard. And I flicked it hard that last time. When I open it, it flies open so hard. Lock stick. Yeah. But it's really a nice design. And let's ask the important questions as I ponder the knife. Three and a half inch blade. Eight and not quite a quarter overall. Pretty close though. A little less than a half inches uh, thick. The blade stock is, I think they say it's 3.8 millimeter, so it's almost 4 millimeter thick. And you know what? That's a lot of uh, thickness for this knife. If you can see how that really fills up the channel between the slabs of titanium, it's really even hard to kind of get a focus on whether the, the blade is really perfectly centered or not 
because there's just almost no daylight between either side. Um, I think it's almost right on. I think it favors that side a, just a little bit if you're really going to get hypercritical. If you're going to get hypercritical. Uh, when I first got it out, uh, this blade, um, it needs these two sun knives. They need a little breaking in. They really do. And this one, the more you mess with it, the, the better it gets. And I didn't shoot any lube in here and I probably will later shoot just a little bit of lube in there um there's that lock stick again i'm gonna get a little bit of graphite on there too and that'll 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 solve it all it really feels nice i i just love the design so much it's really nice titanium and you know what let's check out what uh, all is titanium and what isn't i'm i'm kind of curious about the pocket clip you know what oh wow yeah that's tie that's titanium. This is all stainless stuff. Stainless. But yeah, so the handle's titanium and the pocket clip's titanium. Okay. So that's that's pretty cool. Actually, you could anno this if you wanted to. I don't know. I kind of like it in its natural color. But yeah, it flips out. I mean, the blade did not... Oh, that lock stick's tough. The blade didn't fly out really well when I first got it. Um, and I... It, this is not... Something where the thumb stud works really well. I mean, there's, I mean, just anything, you know, this just slides out. No problem, right? And this aligner lock, but I mean, it's just so easy because it gives you room or its geometry is such. This one, this thing is so close to here. It's hard to get your thumb under it, but maybe it's just me, which it could be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. It just takes a little working with, and this, hear that? Wow, that's tough. Got to take care of that. I will after this video. Don't hold it against the knife. Sometimes you got to do a little graphite on there just for the lock stick. I really like it. It's a good carry size, you know, with the three and a half inch blade, eight and a quarter overall. Really nice design, and it's amazing. You know, I bought this knife for 45 bucks, and they're selling them for up to $62, $63, and calling them a Chris Reeve. They're not saying I'm numsing. They're just saying Chris Reeve, like I showed you on that deal. It's weird, because I was paging through knives, and I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Go back here. And some of the pictures on DH Gate show the knife like this in the opening picture. They don't show this side. They show this side. And it says high end titanium Chris Reeve something. And uh, so you get that. You think it kind of looks Sabenza ish. And then you go in there and it's way more than 45 bucks. And they either have D2 or they have that 8C or 13 MOV in them. This one's D2. Really nice, really sharp. It'll be a great carry knife. I like these two sun knives. Uh, let's see what this one weighs. Just if you're going to carry it, you probably ought to get an idea of what it weighs. Wow, I'm really surprised. Let me do that again. 4.5 ounces. Wow, that's pretty light. That's really a good carry weight. You know, it feels substantial in your hands. Um, it really does. That's that's acting better now. This, yeah, this is acting a lot better. Boy, that lock stick's tough, but yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> yes, it is. Whew. That's all treatable. It's all treatable. I just like the design. I think it'll be just a good carry knife. Titanium D two. It's great. <sighs> Tucson, you saw me do this one. This is a great knife. I accidentally got two of these, as I said in my video. Um, I took these apart 
and cleaned them up and lubed them and I'm not sure if I had to really take them apart but I did uh, maybe they just needed the lube and that was it I don't know but I took them apart to clean them up there were there was some residue in there I think that needed to come out I mean once I got in there but both of them. The second one I took apart and I lost that standoff. It fell on the floor. I couldn't find it. I swear to God. I don't know what happened. I lost it for two days and then found it on the floor finally. And I go, thank God, save the knife. Because without that standoff in there, it just looked awful funky. But I got it. And so both knives are wonderful. They flip really good. This Tucson brand is really kind of your budget. Um, uh, end of, you know, there's so many uh, titanium flippers on, on AliExpress and, and DH Gate mostly uh, that are, uh, you know, a $75 to $120 range. And when these are sitting there in the $42 to $44 range, that that's a big difference. You know, just 20, 30 bucks makes a difference for some of these buyers out there. And these are on ceramic bearings. Um, they got D2 steel, they're extremely sharp. The fit and finish is wonderful. This is a bead blasted. You got a titanium pocket clip, no hot spots. very comfortable in the hand. You know, really easy to, uh, to carry. And uh, not overly heavy, good quality materials. I mean, I, I don't know, I, I like it. I like it really well. I've got a couple of others coming in. Um, and I watched a video from Brian in Kansas City. He's uh, he's one of my subscribers and I'm one of his subscribers. He's got a bunch of videos and he did a video on the uh, Tucson TS31 because he has his in. I don't have mine yet, but it's really cool. I'll put a link to his uh, in my description box. I'll put a link to his review and you can see that one it's anode it's rainbow type anno it's really cool great knife uh, they're making a lot of interesting designs and these are less expensive these are not you know supposed to compete with high-end stuff but they are wonderful because they're great quality ball bearings they're really nice knives this one's not a flipper but I mean it's uh it's a good looking knife for 45 bucks. I know I got that um nums and uh, clone and I did a, a video on that and that had washers and I had issues with it. Uh, and that cost me close to 50 bucks. This one was 45 and it has ceramic bearings. So, you know, I'm really liking this really well. I'm not having quite the issues. Uh, it was a little sticky at first with the, with the thumb stud and I've got a little lock stick here, but it's really not that bad and it deploys pretty well you know it's a nice little one-handed knife that's for sure perfect for pocket carry nice and sharp something you don't have to worry about uh, you didn't lose the world if you lost this knife but uh, it's something that you can be proud to carry too I mean it looks all right -er. and it's nice and smooth deploying really good grinds i love the blade geometry it's nice thick stock a little bit you know edgy up here not sharp sharp but you know it's kind of a plain milled edge they didn't round it much up here but the rest of this is really all good really nice and rounded and you know smooth surfaces all the way around all right i'll leave you to it Thank you for joining me, and I'll be back with another knife review pretty soon. Thanks.